Moving on to women! Women! Ah! Women! Women! (laughs) A bill in Missouri would make it illegal to get an abortion if the patient has an ectopic pregnancy, and they're also trying to make it illegal to leave the state to get an abortion. It's funny because Republicans don't seem, and I was talking to somebody at lunch the other day about this, about these stupid abortion bills and how insane they are. And he said something that's really stuck with me. Like, Republicans don't understand, don't interrupt your enemy when they're making a mistake. Yeah. And so they seem to be putting these, like, extreme bills out. And you're like, you guys are, you are, by all the polls, you'll crush in 2022 and during, in the elections. And the only thing you could do that would make people kind of pause is start getting crazy around the social issues and particularly around abortion, which like 70% of Americans are on board with at least within the first three months. Yeah. And so you're going to start getting crazy about this. But not only that, I don't want to hear from ever again from a Republican or conservative who's all about small government and federalism if you're supporting bounty hunting people who leave the state to go get an abortion. Where it's legal in another state. Yeah. Why don't you just gut the whole freaking concept of federalism while you're at it? You're all full. This goes back to my thing like everyone's full of shit. Right. Everyone's fine with big government when it's their thing. We're seeing this with abortion and we've seen it with the mandates. I don't like it when government has corporations and citizens doing their dirty work for them, which is what's happening. So they can't push this through because it's unconstitutional. Some of these laws, whether it's mandates or these extreme anti-abortion bans. And so then they have private citizens. They're like, oh, well, we can have private citizens report people and report corporations. And they they did the same thing with the mask mandates. Yeah. It's insanity. Yeah. And it should be a rule that any man, like, we looked up the guy who made this insane rule. The ectopic pregnancy. The ectopic pregnancy one, which, by the way, an ectopic pregnancy is not a viable pregnancy. It's a medical emergency. It will kill you. It will kill you. It will blow. I had one. It's a suicide bomber. That's (laughs) what it is. It will take you out. It's like if I can't live, you can't live either. It's dangerous and you will die. And to act like you don't know this and that you have to get an abortion to take care of this just shows you know absolutely nothing about reproduction at all. This guy obviously hasn't been near a vagina just based on Dave's research. <laughs> Yeah, it looks. You shouldn't be able to make laws about women's reproductive health if you and your wife sleep in separate twin beds in the same room, like it's the 1950s. Yeah, just if you call your wife mother. <laughs> it's like, it, and this is a country founded on mobster movies where being a narc was the worst thing you can be. Being a rat was the worst thing you can be. I got this rat, this annoying, eating. And now these politicians are like, oh, yeah, be a narc. Yeah. Be a narc. Oh, but- yeah. America is great at crowdsourcing big government. That's all they're doing now. Yeah. This is bullshit. No, it's ridiculous. They're like out of state laws, bananas. That's crazy. Like, isn't this in America? Like, what are you doing? Same thing with the, the like, the ectopic one. You're just a moron. No. Moron. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's weird. I'm not for it. And when people accuse me of being a Republican or a conservative, I'm like, get fucked. And when you ask me why I could never, when people say, oh, you're right wing, I'm like, no, I'm not. Find another person to fill your like weird agenda, but it's not me. And here's someone else who takes hits from both sides. J.K. Rowling <laughs> had the perfect response to someone telling her to sit down and shut up on International Women's Day. Yeah, she's so fucking my hero. I mean... She's such a badass. She really is. She's willing to like die on the hill that I'm willing to die on. And she has some, you know, she's got a lot more to lose. Yeah. He, yeah. So it was this guy, Vosh or whatever. Vosh. I don't even know how to say it. He's a like left wing person online. Because she tweeted something about International Women's Day. And he said all JK Rowling had to do was shut the up and she could have been almost uncritically beloved for like a century and he said women be quieter and start apologizing challenge here's an idea misogynist disguised as male feminist shut the 
Gob challenge. There it is. <laughs> Basically, his his tweet, "Women be quieter and start apologizing." Challenge is is the equivalent to get back in Hogwarts kitchen and bring me a butter beer, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. I've never been more turfy than every single day of my pregnancy, and I'm really grateful to have my warrior and queen, J.K. Rowling, out there fighting for me because she's just not taking it. She's going, she's she's on Twitter a lot. She gives no f- No. It's amazing. And, I mean, she in her tweet, she was talking about how she had a violent ex-husband who used to tell her life would be great if only I'd comply. And then people were like, oh, way to, like, complain about being a victim. And, like, it, the comments are unbelievable yeah, that no. she gets. And it's just... She just refuses to back down. I have so much respect for her. And all these people who loved and worshipped her and have these like Harry Potter tattoos. There, there was somebody on Twitter just last week talking about how it's that it's now the equivalent of basically having like a swastika tattoo, uh-huh. like any kind of like Hogwarts tattoo. It's so stupid too. It's so stupid. It's all just like taken out of context, misconstrued, and every she was painted as a transphobe, and now that's everyone thinks that's what she is, and she is not. And there are plenty of people in the trans community, like Buck Angel and many others, who come out and are like, "We're not a monolith." Right. By the way, you guys don't speak for us. Not all of us agree that there aren't like biological differences between the sexes right and buck angel was like she's a friend of mine and i love how the the whole idea that if you talk about women or use that word as transphobic is so like deeply misogynistic i know well there's so much misogyny (laughs) embedded in that i can't even get my mind around it i know women is like a hate word now yeah (laughs) Like women is hate speech. I oh, just, okay. Well, Tulsi Gabbard got it too because she got attacked for a tweet about women on International Women's Day. She said the most important thing to appreciate on International Women's Day is that there is such a thing as women that are biologically different from men. It's not politically correct or woke to point this out, but unless we accept it, it's not possible to celebrate women. Women. women! And she was just getting like people were going after her and someone was like, women's day should not be celebrated. (laughs) Someone said, you never miss an opportunity to take an unnecessary jab at trans people. And this is not a woman's day post. It's a hate day post. Oh, my God. I mean, the level of insanity and hatred and just mental illness on uh, it, around this topic is mind boggling to me. How did we get to the place that it is mainstreamed now in society, mainstreamed, that if you say men and women are different, you're a bigot. And it's actually incredible how fast it's become mainstreamed. Yeah. Because we were saying, people were saying like three years ago, oh, this is just online. This is just fringe. You're just taking the fringe. And now it's like everywhere. Just like white supremacists. (laughs) And pedophiles. (laughs) And pedophiles, apparently. (laughs) 